What's up, Buttercup? Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the absolute best pizza. It's like crossbreed of like garlic bread with pizza, and it's majestic. I promise you that. I don't really know where I'm going with this. We're going somewhere though. Bags are packed and we're on our way. First thing you're gonna do, get our cheese grate and thing, my bob. Right down a black mozzarella. Ooh! <laughs> Linda, not supposed to do that. Whatever, counters are clean, who cares? I don't care. It got clogged like a toilet. Ugh. Put that in a bowl. I'm rolling it backwards and it's not coming out. It got too clogged. And then you use any type of Parmesan. I have this. I am obsessed with this blend from Sam's Club. It's just delicious. We're gonna mix that in with our mozzarella. Then Kobe, ah, no. Stick about us. We're gonna soften it or melt it, your choice. Put in a half cup of marinade. There's some guts. Add our butters to that. Then we're gonna season it up, buttercup. Fresh cracked pepper. Oh crap, we forgot to preheat the oven to 375. Some crushed red peppers, a lot of that. Then you can do your favorite Italian seasonings. Onion powders, garlic powders, Italian seasonings. I'm using my unicorn from Short Smoke. That's amore. I can't live life without this outcry. Go ahead and season it up. Then we need however much garlic your heart desires. We desire a lot of garlic. Then go ahead and mix it all up, buttercup. Linda is splattering butter everywhere. Not cool. Oh, there's stuff everywhere, Linda. What did you do? This is the base for our cheesy garlic garlic bread pizza smichmation. You could do mayonnaise, the butter, and the seasoning for some amazing garlic bread if you don't want the cheese. Now I gotta move along. I got a $2 French bread from Aldi. I love Aldi. Listen, Linda, I can give you a lesson because for some reason my husband and son can't figure it out how to cut bread. We want this in two equal pieces. You don't want it like one piece is thicker than the other. So you go in with your canife. You want to make sure you hold your canife like this. Not like this, not like this. Straight across the board the entire time. Go in halfway. Hold your canife straight. Don't you tilt that canife. Don't you you dare. And then look at that. Straight across, even pieces, all the way through. Baking sheet, parchment paper, cause we know lucky dishes. Smother this thing edge to edge. Every nook and cranny. You know what? This may just be like French bread, garlic bread pizza, but we're gonna make it with love. Cause that's what we do. Cause we love it. Tops are gonna have the garlic spread. Refrigerate the rest and it's good for up to like two weeks. We're gonna spread our pizza sauce all over the bottom. Mozzarella on the bottom. Get some pepperones on there. And then these go in the oven until they're done. Look at that. It's gonna slide and fall off when to calm down. Oh, stay out of there. Garlic bread on one side. Pepperoni pizza on the other. So hot, I'm gonna burn my face off. I don't care. That's nice. Hot, 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 Linda. It's gonna be so tasty. Ah, oh, that's hot. I'm so impatient. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. I need to eat. The fat girl inside me is about to fight someone. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, please. Mm, girl. I hit all the spots. I want some extra marinara to dip it in. I'm a dipper. I like to dip. What are you doing, Linda? Why are you making that? So delicious. I'm telling you, whip this up on any kind of bread, but I prefer French bread. And you got a beautiful little sneaky snack. Mm. Garlic French bread beats a sandwich smichimation is most definitely a certified unicorn. It will turn your hangry into happy. I promise. And uh, you should make it. Okay, love you, bye.